In this video tutorial, we're going to show a couple of tricks related to the graphical results for contours in Adapt Builder. And we'll go ahead now and just create a, a brief model. We're going to use Floor Pro to create this model. And I'll actually use the Floor Wizard um, for this example. We're going to um, do a 3x3 three three bay, 32 foot span. This will be a post-tensioned slab. This uh, applies also to reinforced concrete slabs in the program with or without beams. So in this example, what we're going to do, we already have um, loading on the structure. We have live load of 50 PSF. I'm going to overload one of the bays with quite a bit of live load. So we're going to go to loading. I'll add another patch load just in this bay here. And we're going to say that that load is 0 0.25. So 250 pounds per square foot of additional live load. And now what we'll do is we'll just mesh the structure. After we mesh, we're going to analyze for the default combinations. We have a couple of service and strength combinations. We're going to rely on the service, or the service combinations for the, for the results that we'll look at. Okay, so if we if we select service total from the combination list here and then go over to analysis in this results viewer, under slab deformation, we're going to turn on the um, contours for deflection. This is vertical deflection in the Z direction. And we can see we have maximum deflection in this area where, you know, we had overloaded uh, the slab couple of things to note, there's only a few values that are kind of shown here and the text is rather small. It's hard to read that text. So the first thing we'll show is how do you control the text for this particular um, contour result. Under settings, we have an option here for font height, but this actually, uh, this uh, is for results for frame elements and also for design sections. So this actually does not control the font height for the contours. What we're going to do is go over here to Home, and under Settings, we're going to select Text Settings. And I'm going to uh, change this, let's say, to 24. Okay, and that controls the text for the contours. Um, so it's simple enough a modification there to control that text. The next thing that we'll do is increase the density of the contour. So under analysis, I can do that through these two buttons, increase the number of contour lines. I can, I can update this just by selecting the button. You can see the number of contour lines um, gets densified or going backwards. This just removes um, some of those contour lines. We can also go back to uh, turn the contours off on using this control here. If we want to label multiple contour lines here, um, under the settings in the result viewer, you can see that we're, we're labeling these every fifth contour line. So maybe I want to label those every two contour lines, and I'll go ahead and apply those changes. Once we do that, this resets um, back to the original number of contours. So we have to go back and do something like this. And you can see there's more data labels um, coming onto the slab here. If you want to um, focus in on a range of deflection, for example, maybe I want to see the range of deflection in this bay here. I can see the max deflection is 0.7, and I'll just assume the min deflection is 0. So under the deflection results, I can right-click. We'll say the minimum, which is really negative, so that's the maximum downward deflection. This is negative 0.76, and I'll set this one here to 0. So I'm kind of... Um, focusing in only on the region that does not have the overloaded level of uh, live load. And now we have something that looks like this. Now from this, again, we could come back and I could label this maybe every single contour and also you know, increase or reduce the number of contours with these um, with these buttons here under the contour settings. So these are just a few of the tools that you can use to customize the view that you're looking at in terms of contour results in Adapt Builder. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at